everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in today. This is Kathy Aranzana and I will be creating a quick and easy card using some Honey Bee stamps. I'll be using the Beehive stamp set as well as the High Honey Sentiment set. I started by stenciling a honeycomb background onto a piece of white cardstock that measures four by five and a quarter inches. And I decided to have the honeycomb kind of hang off the left edge there so that I could have an extra little bumblebee as well as a sentiment on the right hand side. And I used scattered straw distress ink with the mini ink blending tool. Next, I stamped the beehive using tuxedo black memento ink onto a piece of patterned cardstock. I thought it would be cute to have little hearts all over the front of that little beehive there. Once I have it stamped, I use a Copic marker, um, y, Y15, and I'm just going to do some bare minimum shading. It, it was really mostly just to add a little bit of depth and dimension. So I'm doing tiny little flicks on the outer edge towards the center and then lightly tracing above and below the lines that go across the front of the beehive. Um, I did get, I did have the, the shading go a little bit deeper down on the bottom of the hive just because there would be more shadows down there if the sun were coming up or shining down from the top. After I was done adding the little bit of shading, I decided to cut out that little beehive so that it could be popped up. Um, there is a coordinating die. I just didn't use it for this card because I didn't want to have the patterned paper edge on the outside. I did use the die though for the inside of the beehive where it cuts the little I guess it's a door and then to add a little bit more depth I just went around that circle using YR24 I kind of placed it on my white panel with the honeycomb just to kind of see where I was going to add the tiny little bees And for those tiny little bees, I also used Tuxedo Black Memento because um, I will be coloring them in a little bit later. And of course, all bees have to have a little buzzy trail. Um, so I just stamped those pretty quick. And as detailed as those stamps are, they, they stamp beautifully. And there's the little guy down there at the bottom of the screen. Um, and I stamped him on a piece of scrap paper just did quick coloring again with the Y15 and the wings are done in BG quadruple zero. Um, I am actually going to use the coordinating die for that little B there so that he can be popped up towards the top of the beehive once I'm done. And I did use the same markers, the Y15 and the BG quadruple zero for the little bees that I stamped directly on the card panel itself. And I did go in with my black marker just to get some nice, nice crisp black lines on those little bees. And I did it on the same little guy over there. I think these bees are so cute. They're so fun. I, when I saw the set, it went on my wish list pretty quickly. And then I finally was able to get them. So I'm pretty happy to be using them here today. So the sentiment I chose is you're the bee's knees and I decided to use my stamp positioner to make sure that I got it just where I wanted it and I used onyx black VersaFine ink to stamp the sentiment so that it would be really bold and really easy to read. Um, the stamps do stamp very nicely too. Now to make the beehive door look like a door I just glued a tiny piece of black cardstock on the back of that. And this white panel is going onto that black panel, which measures four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And then that will be adhered to my card front. 
for my card base, which is um, my card base, which is a top folding card, and it's an A2 size. Me with my foam tape to get that little beehive popped up and I don't know why I torture myself and cut you know five little pieces when I probably could have just cut three longer strips and been done with it I'm you know yeah it worked and here's the tiny little guy I had die cut him using my the the coordinating die with the Gemini Jr. and I wanted him to be popped up from the beehive as well and of course he had to have a little buzzy trail so I just stamped that directly over there and with the wings of course I had to add a little bit of stardust stickles just to have a little bit of fun and a little bit of glitter because bumblebee wings should have glitter And there you go. That's the whole card. Thanks so much for stopping by today. Please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time.